what we have discovered is a new record breaking lightning flash. This world record flash extended for 829 kilometers from Texas, stretching all the way up through Missouri. We call these flashes, which are above 100 kilometers in horizontal extent, mega flashes, because they are essentially much larger than ordinary lightning flashes. They're much more impactful and much more uh, potentially hazardous um, to the general public from compared to just a regular random given flash. We didn't see the flash back in 2017 when it occurred because while our technology, our sensor hardware had improved by that point with the launch of the GOES-16 satellite, we still had to play some catch up with the software. We essentially were getting a fire hose of data coming down from orbit, and it's very difficult to process that amount of data, especially in short periods of time. And so this flash was essentially missed in our initial attempt to process the data simply because it was too big. It was too complicated to work with. And more recently, actually in the past year, we've developed some new methods that are able to handle lightning flashes, regardless of how big they are, regardless of the horizontal scale or the number of incremental data products that go into them. Moving to a geostationary lightning observing platform allowed us to essentially make a quantum leap in terms of our detection capabilities, where we can see all lightning flashes, regardless of where they occur on the hemisphere. And because we're in geostationary, that means that we're able to look at um, continuous measurements, so regardless of how rare they are. And these flashes are extremely rare, especially once we get to world record scales. We have a hope of seeing them, unlike these ground-based networks where we have to be in the right place at the right time and have an adequately sized network to do it. So we're excited to see what kinds of lightning come out of this new work, and especially as technology improves and we are able to get satellites and other parts of the world, then we'll be able to expand towards the eventual mission of providing global coverage of lightning.